Subtitle Edit Pro is a powerful app to create and edit subtitles and time code. It's super easy to use. To create SLT from scratch, just drag and drop on the waveform. This blade has a. Then type your text. Dark. This blade has a dark past. This blade has a dark past. This blade has a dark past. It has shed much. It has shed much innocent blood. It has shed much innocent blood. It has shed much innocent blood. You're a fool for traveling alone so completely unprepared. You're a fool for traveling alone so completely unprepared. You're a fool for traveling alone so completely unprepared. You're a fool for traveling alone so completely unprepared. To make time call for your text like this, just drag and drop on the waveform. This blade, this blade has a dark past. It has shed much innocence. It has shed much. You're a fool for traveling alone. You're a fool for traveling alone. So you're lucky your blood's still flowing. You're lucky your blood. To edit your existing SLT subtitles and time code, just simply edit the text or shift the time code like this. Fool for traveling alone. So you're a fool for traveling alone. So like this. Or even like this. Now, let me introduce you a little more about what we can do in Subtitle AD Pro. This is Toolbar. You can import your video and SLT file, export SLT file, or set up your project here. This is the movie view. You can play, fast forward, or fast backward your video. You can jump the playhead here, and you can choose play speed. This is the text view. You can drag and drop a text file or SLT file here to open it. Or you can copy and paste text from anywhere. Then you can edit the text just like what you do usually in any text editor. This is time code. We call this one start time code and that one end time code. Click on the time code to jump right to the video. This number is the index of subtitle lines and this one is the correct counts of each line. This warning triangle shows up when you get too many letters per line or too many letters per second. Of course, you can change the limitation in preferences. When you get an error or confusing time code, the time code will be marked as red color, just like I did here. There are too many things we can do in text view. I'll show you later. This is a waveform view. We can change the waveform size. Double click to play the video and one click to stop playing. This is a subtitle. You can play it or delete the time code. Command Z to undo. You can drag these two handles to shift time code to the accurate position. You can even change things like this. You can double click to edit the text. Use magic mouse or trackpad to swipe waveform. If I'm using a PC mouse, use command and left mouse key to swipe quickly. Of course, there are many keyboard shortcuts. You can use tab key on keyboard to play or stop the video. A dangerous quest. You can use command JKL to step backward or step forward. You can use option JKL to fast backward or fast forward. <laughs> when you move the mouse to the button, a 2T shows up and you see the shortcut combination. 
Then I'd like to show you how to manipulate your time code. If you want to delete a time code, just choose it and hit delete key on the keyboard. Hit this button to add a time code. Let me add another time code here. Oops, nothing happened. That's because we can't have more than two time code for one subtitle. We can choose a time code. Then use arrow key on keyboard to move the time code backward, forward, or even move between time code. When the time code is selected, hit the return key to exit from it. You can delete a bunch of time code like this. All time code disappeared, but text is still here. You can always undo the operations. As you can see, there are return symbols here. This represents a line break instead of an actual return. This is for multiple line subtitles. You can insert a line break by clicking this button or use shortcut command enter. If this subtitle is too long, how to split it up? Just go to the position and press enter key on keyboard. Subtitle Edit Pro will do the trick and calculate the duration for you automatically. What if I want to merge these two lines of subtitle? Just delete these two time code. Remember, if you want to make two lines subtitle, use command return to do it. If your video has a starting time code, for example, it starts from 1 hour. You can set the starting time code here. After that, if you insert a time code, it starts from 1 hour. What if I want to speed up the playing when dragging and slow down the playing after dragged? And I want to repeat the video 4 times so that I can listen clearly and input my subtitle correctly. I just set the play speed to 0.5. And set the dragging play speed to two times faster and play video four times. Let's try it. This blade has a dark past. This blade has a dark past. This blade has a dark past. It has shed much innocent blood. It has shed much innocent blood. It has shed much innocent blood. This is a simple tutorial. Please slow down this video and practice more. Any question, please send me email. For more information, please visit our website. Thank you.